When did your drug use start to happen? After the home again. Okay. After that run. The, when you guys reunited. Exactly, when we reunited. Um, I was just experiencing a level of anxiety that I've never experienced before. Our process for going on tour was we rehearse choreography for three to four hours. We would go rehearse with the band for a few hours, do a vocal rehearsal, run the first half of the show, record it, watch it, critique it, run the whole show, production rehearsal, dress rehearsal. That was the process before every tour we went on. For this particular tour, we did, there was not one run through oh, of, of, of it. rehearsal. It was just, it was just a whole, we just winged everything. So just my anxiety was like, oh my God, like, what are we gonna do? how are we going to do this? Yeah. And then on top of it, there's six tour buses. So I'm looking at the budget. I'm like, we're not making any money off of this. This is, this is insane. And then on top of it, it was like, Bob would show up late, would show up loaded, or would just not show up arguments every night and just and then I get home and at the time like I had you know we had business managers they would like pay our bills for us when we're on the road and we get home there's no money my house is in foreclosure I don't even know how to refinance or anything like that and so all of these things are coming down but I meet this beautiful young lady during that time during that time this is after mm -hmm. home again okay and uh, her and her mom was just so amazing for me. They came in and she just didn't judge me at all. She helped me move out of my house and move into an apartment. Okay, because you actually lost your house? Yeah, I lost my house, I lost my cars. Wow. Everything. 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 And uh, what, what little I had left, you know, I moved into an apartment and we weren't even working at the time. We kind of, everyone went their separate ways for a while. And um, one day we decided to do ecstasy. I decided to do ecstasy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was like I was still trying to front like I had it going on because I was still <laughs> going to the clubs and, and partying, just doing, you know, drinking and smoking here and there. But um, when I met Amy, I mean, we started going out. She, one of her friends, she was in a singing group called Girl Society, who I, I kind of encouraged her to, you know, he signed with MCA and okay. helped her with a contract and everything like that. So one of her friends said, hey, you guys know anything about ecstasy? Can I, you know, get some? And I, so I started asking around and we found it and her friend took it and Amy wanted to try it. So Amy tried it and um, she loved it. He liked the reaction I had. Yeah, she like she just looked like she was jealous. having a good time. Yeah, he wanted to try it. He wanted to have feel good like I was feeling good. Yeah, and so I tried it. That was actually the first drug I tried uh -huh. outside of marijuana and drinking. It was ecstasy. Yeah, yeah, I've tried ecstasy before. Yeah, it's a and, fun drug. It yeah, and, fun. and it, it was amazing. It was. You know, the next day is not so much fun. Right, but right. <laughs> when you're right. on it, the is. first time in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so amazing. it was amazing. So that yeah. was my gateway into cocaine. And you guys were, were a couple as he's going through all this stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Were you, were you taking drugs as well? We started out um, taking ecstasy together and then that was part of like our social go to clubs. Sometimes we would take ecstasy. Mm -hmm. It was more of a social thing and it wasn't like we were heavy drug addicts. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it definitely had its course. So it was like, okay, now we're kind of overdoing it. Um, but towards the end of that, you know, Ricky started to use ecstasy sometimes without me. Um, so that's kind of when it started getting weird. And then the dealer, he gave us some free cocaine one time just to try. And wow. we had it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then one of the days when we were high, just like, want to try it. Yeah. And that just ended up being his drug of choice that got yeah. him. But Ricky's never been like an addict. To me, initially, he always drank just a little bit. You only smoked a little bit. Mm -hmm. You were never like the guy that got drunk or really high. Right. But the cocaine was like... That was just the 
Trust for some reason, that rea the reaction that I had to that, the allergic reaction I had right. to that was, once it got in my system, that was the choice wasn't mine anymore. It was just yeah. like, it was on. Yeah, I had, I had a close friend of mine overdose and die at 23 from cocaine. Wow. And oh, at the sorry. funeral was when I said I wouldn't try cocaine. Right. And I've been around it. I've had people offer it to me, but it was like, I always think about that funeral. Yeah. You know, and I think Absolutely. If, if cocaine could do that, mm -hmm. it's not worth then it's it. probably not worth it. Right. Exactly. So I, I never tried it myself. But wow. good, you good guys, you. you tried it as well, Amy? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you didn't have the same reaction as, as Yeah, I didn't like it. It didn't last very long. The come down was terrible. And with ecstasy at the time, there were these little pills and they had a bunch of stuff in them. And the, it would last like eight hours right. yeah. and then wear off. But like cocaine's like eight to 15 minutes. It's Basically. like, this is stupid. No wonder people are cocaine. sniffing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then you need some more cocaine. Yeah, exactly. Later, exactly. Then, now you're an addict. Yeah. <laughs> now you're an addict. Exactly. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. That's right. Yeah. It really is. You feel super confident on it, but yeah. when that stuff wears off, you were like, I'm a loser. This mm -hmm. is terrible. <laughs> right. Life <Okay>. sucks. <laughs>